And now it's time for another Junior Soccer segment on The Soccer Show. And our Junior Watchers have provided a fantastic response to our VSF Grand Final competition. If you remember, they had to pick the best three goals of our five goals on offer. And George Wallace and Ian Greener were at Dukes Road in Faulkner to present the awards to the winning Junior players. And just to let you know which goals they were, and we'll show you them shortly, goals two, three and one were the order of the outstanding choices by the junior players. Right, good morning, welcome to Dukes Road, Faulkner. We're here today to present the prizes for the Junior Goal Grand Final com competition. The prizes will be presented by Mr. George Wallace, and we'll start off with the consolation prizes. Here we go, George is now presenting the consolation prizes. First is Alex. Good lad. Not that one, Marcus. The other one. That's it. Then we have Carlos. And here is our youngest winner. Coming up now is Master Joshua. He's Joshua, the young winner. Four years. Well done. Well done, Joshua. Then we have Joe. Followed by Daniel. Followed by Kiri. And the final winner in the consolation section is Robert. Okay, now we have the winner. And the, and the two winners correctly chose the three goals in sequence. First one we have is Marco Massano. And Marco gets the complete pack. Includes boots, t-shirts, coke bottle, mitre soccer ball, and they become mascot of the day for the grand final. And the second full winner is Simon. With me this morning, I have Ian Perry, who is the team manager of the under-16 squad. Ian, the uh, squad seemed very uh, confident there. Yeah, very confident, boys. Uh, we've been with them for about three months now, and uh, we finalised their 16 last Saturday. And uh, have you seen, we've got six from Juventus, or Melbourne Zebras, as they're now called. We've travelled the country to find the best available players, and uh, it's... Uh, quite interesting and we're very proud that uh, three country boys have uh, made it. Uh, Tim Callett, a goalkeeper from Ballarat Devils, uh, Ben Kasser from the Morwell Falcons and Steve Nedelkoski from Shepparton. So we went all over the place, we just didn't turn uh, boys uh, in the city and we waited until the last possible moment to make sure we had the best boys. And we're still looking if someone gets injured, we've got people on standby. Okay, let's get the boys to introduce themselves. I'm Simon Klosma, I play with the Melbourne Zebras and the VIS, and I'm representing Victoria in the under-16s. I'm playing sweeper. And we have? Uh, my name's John Mazzano, I play for uh, Melbourne Zebras and the Victorian Institute of Sport, and I play midfield. And this big fella here? Uh, my name's John Sapozowski, and I'm going to be representing Victoria in under-16 at the forthcoming national titles, and I'm an attacker for the Melbourne Zebras. Next one. My name is Sadler Pitt, I play for Melbourne Zebras and I'll be representing the 16 Victorian seed and I play sweeper. My name is Toy De Petro, I play on the 16 Super League Melbourne Zebras and I play in the midfield. My name is Aitak Ilmaz and I play for Melbourne Zebras in the Super League and under 16 Victorian team. 
Right, now these boys will be rep representing Victoria. In two weeks' time, Victoria will be going to Sydney to compete at the under-15 and the under-16 level in the national championships. These days now called the talent identification. Behind me, I have five boys who are representing Victoria at the under-15 level. And today we have... Bill Petrovsky, Preston McDaniel, striker. Stan Tleski, Preston McDaniel, goalkeeper. Les Zaykis, Preston McDaniel, striker. Leonis Alvesky, Preston McDaniel, midfielder. Marco Buseski, Preston McDaniel, sweeper. Now, the main focus today is that all these five boys come from Preston which is a terrific achievement. The boys have done well to be selected for our state squad, but to have five boys from the one club is terrific. We know that this year the Preston seniors haven't had a particularly good year, but in the next two to three years, these boys are Preston's future. Good stuff. Thanks, boys.